Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our yes. next... Uh, not you, Dickie. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, our next guest launched his television career with a comedy routine that has already now become <laughs> a classic, and it concerns, for your information, it concerns our earliest Americans. I, I get a chuckle just thinking about it. And since we wanted to devote this portion of the show to looking at a bit of America, we asked him to do it for us tonight. So ladies and gentlemen, meet George Carlin. <laughs> admitting that I'm a Western movie fan, but not any Western. I like in particular the ones that involve Indians. They were good fighters, and if they were, they must have been well organized. It couldn't have been as chaotic as it looks in the movies with one old chief, many moon come Choctaw, <laughs> and everybody else naked. <laughs> there had to be intermediate authority. There must have been Indian sergeants. No army can make it without those tough veteran battle-hardened sergeants and the Indians were no exception. All right, all the tall guys over by the trees. <laughs> Fat guys down behind the rocks. And you with the beads, out of line. All right, knock off the horse play. Come on, knock off the horse play. You guys over there playing with the horse, will you knock it off? <laughs> All right, now, you have all been given a piece of birch bark and a feather dipped in eagle's blood. We want you to write on the birch bark in the upper right-hand corner. That's the upper right-hand corner. That's your arrow hand. You write your name. Last name first, first name last. If you got a middle initial, please include that, such as Wolf, Howling W. <laughs> A lot of you have been asking about promotion. You'd like to make brave second class? Get another scar on your arm? Well, I'm happy to say the results of your early tests have come through and you're doing beautifully. Burning settlers' homes, everybody passed. Imitating a coyote, everybody passed. Sneaking quietly through the woods, everybody passed, except limping ox. <laughs> However, Limping Ox is being fitted with a pair of corrective moccasins. <laughs> and he'll be up and dancing in no time at all. Now, there are two other areas on which you will be tested. Running down the hill yelling like a nut. <laughs> and leaping into the gorge. Which is considered to be the tougher of the two. A lot of fellas like to save leaping into the gorge for last. <laughs> Couple other announcements for you here. There'll be a rain dance Friday night. <laughs> weather permitting. <laughs> the fertility rites have been called off due to the recent cold wave. Ah. <laughs> There'll be a massacre tonight at nine o'clock. We'll meet down by the bonfire, dance around a little and move out. Now, this is the third straight night we've attacked the fort. However, tonight it will not be as easy. Tonight, there will be soldiers in the fort. <laughs> Happy to say I'll be leading the massacre. I'll be running down front. You'll see me. I'm the one that's on fire. <laughs> and your uniform of the day, it's a formal massacre. There'll be a dance going on at the fort. You want your Class A summer learn cloth? <laughs> Two green stripes over the eye, no feather. Arms are blue, legs are red, chest is optional. <laughs> Here's prancing antelope. No, you can't put any purple on your eyelids. Get you the guy with the beads. Get out of line, would you please? <laughs>